Welcome back class, I'm Mr. Teacher with the SAT Math Video Guide. We're going to continue from number 15. A measuring cup contains one-fifth of a cup of orange juice. It is then filled to the one cup mark with a mixture that contains equal amounts of orange, grapefruit, and pineapple juices. That sounds like a very delicious juice cup. What fraction of the final mixture is orange juice? Okay, so, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so they're in one cup. So let's draw this cup. One fifth of it is orange juice. So let's also put marks here. So this is one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifth, five fifth, and the scale is one fifth. So this fraction is orange juice and then it is filled up to the one cup mark or five fifths with orange juice grapefruit juice and pineapple juice all in equal amounts so what is the final fraction of orange juice well if they're in equal amounts and there are three types of juices then out of that four fifth cup of juice one third of it is equal is orange juice so that is 4 over 15 that's the amount of orange juice you add to 1 over 5 the amount of orange juice that was already there so if we raise this by 3 we'll get 4 over 15 plus 3 over 15 and we'll end up with 7 over 15 so there's a total amount of 7 over 15 cups of orange juice in the cup excuse me, the final result. So moving on to number 16. If A plus 2B is equal to 125% of 4B, what is the value of A over B? So actually that's not um, B, that's A over B. So let's take the equation up here. If it's 125% of 4B, so a plus 2b is equal to, if it's 125%, then it's 1, which is 100.25 times 4b. So a plus 2b will be equal to 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2.25 is 1, 4 plus 1 is 5b. And so A is equal to 3B, and we need to find A over B. If we divide both sides by B, then we'll get A over B is equal to 3, and that is the correct answer. Now, number 17 is this number line that we don't usually see in the SAT book. And it says on the number line above, there are nine equal interval intervals between 0 and 1. What is the value of X? So there are nine equal intervals between 0 and 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1. So we can rewrite this as 1 over 9, 2 over 9, 3 over 9, or 1 over 3, 4 over 9, 5 over 9, 6 over 9, or 2 over 3, which is also the square root of x, 7 over 9, 8 over 9, and then 9 over 9, which is obviously 1. So from that we, can, we know that the square root of x is equal to 2 over 3. So how do we get x? We square both sides. Squ the square of the square root of x is just x, which is equal to 2 squared, which is 4, over 3 squared, which is 9. And that is the correct answer. So we're moving on to the final question here, which is a kind of a word problem-ish. In the xy coordinate plane, the distance between point b, 10, 18, and point a, x, 3, is 17. What is one possible value of x? So, this is the hardest question in the section because it involves the distance formula, which sometimes it's kind of tough to remember, especially all the plus and minuses. So, we're going to write it out here. The distance formula is equal 
to the square root of, I'm going to write, draw, actually, here, let's just draw a long line. The distance formula is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. I believe, uh, okay, so then that will be, um, the distance is 17. So 17 is equal to the square root of x1, let's just call it 10, 10 minus x squared plus and then y1 will be corresponding to x1, so 18 minus 3 squared. This will go to 17 is equal to the square root of 10 minus x squared plus 15 squared, which is 225. So just extend that out. If we square both sides right now, then we'll get rid of the square root. So 17 squared is 289, which will be equal to 10 minus x squared plus 225. And now we're getting down to the wire, if you would like to call it that. If we subtract 225 from both sides, we'll get 64 is equal to 10 minus x whole squared. And now, if we take the square root, that will be plus minus 8 is equal to 10 minus x. If 8 is, e is a positive 8, then positive 8 minus 10 will be negative 2. Negative 2 will be equal to negative x, and therefore x will be equal to 2. If that 8 is negative, then negative 8 minus 10 is negative 18. Negative 18 is equal to negative x, and then x is equal to 18. So either of these values are true, and both of them will work. So I hope this helped you with your preparation, and I will see you in the next video.